But uh, let's get back to the processing the addictions. I want to give you basically uh, just a series of tools, if you like, that can help you work your way through addictions and uh, get yourself to the causal emotion. The first, first step is I want to know all of my addictions. The truth is that the majority of us don't really want to know any of our addictions. <laughs> because what we really want is for our addictions to be met by somebody else rather than having to come face to face with the fact that we've got some. Right? So this, this first step requires quite a lot of prayer. And, about, and when I say prayer, remember prayer is a sincere desire or longing directed towards God. So, so let's say I can see, oh well, yeah, I have some really strong aversion inside of myself to knowing all of my own addictions. So what we do firstly is we start talking to God about that. So start saying to God, well, yes, I've really got a strong aversion to knowing about I don't really want to know them. That's the truth. Like, I don't really want to know them. I can see that because I don't really want to know them, then I can't get closer to you. So I can see that it's interfering with my relationship. But I can see also that I somehow need to generate some kind of a desire to know my own addictions. Does that make sense? So what I would do is in my prayer to God under those circumstances is talk to God about how you can generate a desire to know your addictions and why you are so afraid about knowing them. Now, one of the biggest reasons why we have fear associated with knowing our addictions is because once we do know them, we will feel a feeling of self-disgust. Is that how you spell disgust? Um, or you could call it shame. Now, to give you an idea of what kind of shame you may be facing, um, let's imagine for a moment that your wife or husband has accused you of sexually, sexually um, projecting at other people. So let's say you're um, the husband and your wife has said to you, oh, you sexually project at other women all the time. So that's what they're saying to you. Now, if we look at that from an energetic perspective, from an emotional perspective, in it, and this is something that I did bring up in the first century, by the way, and it was just as confronting to the people then as what this, you're going to probably find it confronting now, but every time I sexually project at another person, I am actually entering a physical sexual relationship with that person. In fact, in the first century I said, just by looking at her in that way, you have committed adultery with her. That's what I said then. And actually from a soul perspective, this is what's happening. Here's my soul, here's their soul. I'm projecting sexually. There's a sexual emotion coming from me towards them and if they accept that, that enters them. So it is actually a physical sexual interaction. And what do we do here on the planet? We go, oh, well, I didn't touch her. And, you know, it doesn't matter how you get your appetite as long as you eat at home and all that kind of stuff. These are all the justifications. But the reality is that there's a sexual thing going on. At the soul level, and I'll, I'll put it this bluntly, at the soul level, I'm fondling her and she's fondling me. Right? So a lot of times we don't consider that. We wouldn't consider that I'm fondling her sexually and she's fondling me sexually just by having this sexual interaction happening. Now, now once you come to terms with that emotionally, which is a pretty thing, big thing, isn't it, to come to terms with emotionally, one of the first emotions we feel is a judgment of it and we go into self-disgust and self-shame. We become ashamed of our own behaviour. Now... It's often our fear of the shame that causes us to not want to know all of our addictions. We, we don't want to see ourselves as we really are. But you see, to be at one with God, we need to see ourselves as we really are. 
We need to see ourselves as God sees us. Now, God doesn't feel disgust at you. But God does notice you fondling every woman that you project at. Does that make sense? Or every man you project at sexually. God does notice that as a sexual interaction, as an actual sexual interaction that's actually occurring. God, that's what God sees. We don't judge it that way because the physical act isn't happening and so we then justify it. But from God's perspective, that's what's going on. So what I need to do is go, all right, I have to deal with the fact that there are some things inside of me that I am going to personally judge as disgusting or shameful. Now, the actual action of, dis of judging myself and calling those things disgusting and shameful is actually in itself an error that I do need to release at some point. But it is certainly not loving to have constant sexual interactions that are based on addiction with many women, is it? It's not a loving act. So obviously we need to deal with that. So when it comes to I want to know all of my addictions, the biggest impediment to knowing all of them is our fear of how it's going to make us feel. Does that make sense to everyone? And, and if, you can be, if you can go and, and pray a lot to God about the fact that you are capable and God built you to be able to feel all of your emotions, then you'll have far less fear about what may come up when you see what you do. Right? And so my suggestion is really focus on firstly, do I want to know all of my addictions? Pray about that. And by the way, with every one of these steps I'm going to raise with you, prayer for me is, is a core part of every one of these steps. A core part of every one of these steps that I'm going to list is prayer. So, so, so in other words, having a sincere, being in a sincere place in that. See, I can say, I, can say, I want to know all of my addictions. And, uh, and then someone comes along and tells you, oh, did you realise that you do this all the time? No, I don't see that. No? Well, they give you a few examples. You say, oh, no, I still don't see that. No? What's happening now? You're saying you want to know all of your addictions and you get an opportunity through the law of attraction that somebody brings one of them to you and what do you do? You reject it. So do you really want to know all of your addictions? You'd be better off saying... I don't want to know any of my addictions. Talk to God about that. Does that make sense? Be truthful that whether you do want to know or not. Most of the time, we are not very truthful with ourselves. A lot of times, we, we don't want to know. So be truthful with God about that. The truth is, God, I know this is affecting our relationship, but the truth is that I don't really want to know what I'm really like because I'm scared to death of it. Like... What if I'm really bad? What if, what if there's an emotion inside of me that's like pedophilia? What if that's there? How's that going to feel? Or what if there's an emotion inside of me that's like, you know, that I feel like murdering people really? Like one lady I was talking to, we, we were talking for a while and she said, no, I haven't got anything inside of me. I'm pretty fine, I think. And then after about half an hour, she said, actually, now that I feel about it, I would like to get a gun and shoot everybody on this planet. Now that's a big progression from not having any. <laughs> right. So, so the truth is that that emotion must have been in her for her to get to the point of voicing that. But we can be so totally oblivious. Now, of course, does anyone want to feel that emotion? Probably not, hey. Most of us would say, well, I don't, want to, you know, I don't want to feel that emotion and judge anybody who does. Like, so it, I, I was going to bring up something in Mary's workshop again and I know she's a bit... Is she sitting down there? there? She's outside. Yeah, she's processing at the moment. So, um, There was an exercise that you will learn about in the workshop that uh, actually brings you face-to-face -face with some very dark feelings that you have inside of you towards other people. And if you really go with it, you'll learn a lot about yourself. 
So I think I can get away with saying that, that I just said, rather than telling you what the exercise is. Um, but if you, if you bear that in mind that often we don't want to know our addictions because we're so afraid of the darkness within. Right? Now God doesn't judge this darkness that's within. We are judging it, but God doesn't judge it. Like God still loves you unconditionally, even with this darkness within. Right? But we need, if we want to be closer to God and also closer to ourselves, we need to know what it is and release it from ourselves. And that's going to require some courage on our part. Does that make sense? <laughs>